Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, world? Hopefully you guys are having a blessed day. Um, I just want to hop on here really quick and um, give this prophetic vision that the God that, that the Lord gave to me on June the 29th. Um, I actually released um, the prophetic vision on my Facebook. So if you're not on my Facebook, definitely go and check out my Facebook. You could type in the prophet Maurice, facebook.com slash the prophet Maurice. Make sure you follow me on Facebook and um, I release a lot of prophetic teachings, a lot of prophetic words, a lot of prophetic visions. But I just wanted to get on here and, and really uh, speak about it and re-release it through YouTube and many other platforms wherever this video lands. All glory be to God. Um, so, guys, I'm going to dive right into it. Like I said, it's already written out on my Facebook, so I'm just going to basically read from my Facebook right now. So I titled this vision, A Wall of Water. And what do I mean by this? Uh, it was a wall, kind of like the Great Wall of China. It was a wall that was created by water, like literally like a water of wall standing up, okay? So as I was in the place of prayer, the Lord started to give me a vision. In this vision, I saw a huge wall, almost like the Great Wall of China. The wall was solid, but it was made of water. I saw people under all sides of the water. So it was like a left and the right side of the wall, guys. And I seen people on both sides. Then I saw a lightning strike come from heaven. The lightning struck the wall of water and the water fell amongst the people. OK, so en envision this. I want you to envision this as I'm speaking about this. The wall of water is struck by lightning. So, you know, this is supernatural, right? <laughs> as the water fell on people, I saw scales fall off of their eyes. I began to see people shout and rejoice. I saw people come out of wheelchairs as the water fell upon them. The spirit of the Lord began to minister to me at this point. So this is what he ministered to me. Now, God is going to break down the symbols of this vision. The water represents his living water. The people represented his believers. Remember, it was people on both sides, the left side of the wall, and the right side of the wall. So the people represented his believers. So these was believers. Um, however, the believers' beliefs had created a religious wall. Inside this huge religious wall, the living waters of Jesus was being trapped. So let me pause right here. So the reason why the wall wasn't flooded amongst the people was based off of their beliefs. They believed in Jesus. They believed in God, right? But their own, they start to form their own theologies of things. Um, they start to form their own religious point of views of things. So it kept the living waters from flowing. So it created a wall of water. I hope you guys catch that by the spirit. So once again, the living waters of Jesus Christ was being trapped. The lightning strike represents the hand of God crushing the religious walls. OK, as the wall was crushed, the living water of Jesus began to flow and hydrate his sheep. The living waters was flowing through his prophets. The Lord began to say, I have living waters that will spring forth like wells through my prophet's belly. My hand will crush every wall religious system. OK, when I say every wall, that means religious system that stands against my chosen prophets. True freedom will be amongst the land. True miracles will be amongst the land. This word is for and I seen within the realm of spirit at this point. I saw America highlighted, I saw Europe highlighted, and I saw India highlighted. So this word is for America, Europe, and India. Uh, America, Europe, and India will have a great prophetic culture shift, okay? So it will be an increase of the prophetic. It will be 
uh, chosen prophets of the land that will rise to the occasion, but not just prophets, but a prophetic culture. OK, the season of the prophets and the prophetic people will continue to flow as God see as God sees fit as the walls of the religious break. People who was once in bondage by religion will begin to see by the spirit of God. May God's will be done. Then he led me to Joel 2 in verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old man shall dream dreams. Your young man shall see visions. So what he's speaking about in Joel right here is a prophetic culture that's going to begin to rise. So I prophesy right now in the mighty name of Jesus by the spirit of God, that it will be a strong prophetic culture that rise from America, Europe, and India. Those are the places that was highlighted to me, but I believe that it's going to be all over the place. <laughs> I believe that, of course, from Africa, China, and places like that as well. But what was highlighted to me uh, on, on June 29th was America, Europe, and India. So America, I prophesied that America, Europe, and India will see a strong prophetic shift, that it will be prophets in the land that will shift the culture, that will shift, that will um, groom the prophetic voices, because not everybody is a prophet, but will groom the prophetic voices to come forth uh, within the body of Christ. And then that's when we be, we will begin to see amazing miracle signs and wonders. Um, we will begin to see people's eyes be open. Remember in this dream, I saw scales come off of people's eyes. And that's when true deliverance and that's when true freedom will take place. I pray that this bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If this is a confirmational word for you, drop a bit confirmation below. I would love to hear from you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus.